Thanks for picking me up like that. I'm absolutely soaked. I must have looked a terrible state. You must be freezing. I don't know what happened. The bus just didn't turn up. Sorry, I think I'm setting on something. Oh, sorry, it's your peepers. Oh, I haven't got them all wet. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. So, this is your grand tome about the clouds. <laughs> would, you, would you mind if I take a look? Of course. I mean, if you can understand them. Excuse me? I'm sorry, my goodness. What? Do you have a right to be here? You know, I have earned my place. What are you talking about? Well, maybe this is a bad idea. I don't want to read them anyway if you don't think I can understand them. No, 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 no. I, I meant they're probably illegible. I meant you might not be able to read them. That's all. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Just, oh, I get that kind of thing a lot. I'm a bit sensitive. Crosswise. I thought, I thought you morphed into my old professor there. My office. See me. Anyway, sorry. As I said, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> take a look if you like. Oh, uh, thank you. I can see you're an excellent note taker. Well, the rest is probably classified, <laughs> top secret. And where is yours, may I ask? May I read that? Stop it. You haven't started it, I know. I will. I haven't had three years. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit low. I'm just a bit tired at the moment. My proposal was rejected again yesterday. It needs more work. But things are going well, aren't they? You'll find your subject. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever find it. Friend Molly's nearly finished hers, and here I am, not even at the starting line. Well, if you are anything like as successful as you are with your lectures, you'll be fine. Thanks, Doctor. I'll, uh, I'll just put you safe down here. <laughs> Cambridge. Even on a day like this, I do love this journey. In the rain, you mean? Yes. Well, I'm enjoying it too. Picking you up in this mighty steed. <laughs> oh, yes. He needs a big bus when you can have a car like this. Your presence tells me this is obviously better for picking up ladies. Oh, well, you can just about foot one in if that's what you mean. Anyway, this bus will do just fine. Thanks again for getting me out of the rain like that, it was... Don't mention it. No, uh, no it was an inconvenience. It, it, it won't happen again.
That bus? <laughs> What's that, five, six in a row now? I don't know, I counted seven, maybe. It'll never happen again. Oh, wait. Oh, look, there's Molly. Wow, I, I haven't seen her in ages. Can you just pull over and we can say hello? Molls! Clara! Oh, it's wonderful to see you! Well, you can't miss us all today. <laughs> is this your handsome bus driver? I didn't call him that. Molly, this is Peter. Peter, this is Molly. I've heard. Heard what? You'll be joining us, I hope. Joining you here outside? On the big march? From Aldermaston, the atomic weapons factory. This time we're all going to start there, then march on London. Straight to Parliament. Tens of thousands of us. They'll have to listen to us this time. Four days walk, isn't that right? Oh, that's a long walk. Worth it to save the world, don't you think? It's a waste of time, isn't it? If this is a waste of time, I'd like to know what really was worth someone's time. Oh, sorry, uh, Peter, Molly is a lecturer at the college too, when she's not showing me the ropes or working on her opus. Oh, that's all done now. The paper's published. Oh, that's wonderful. Good riddance too. I couldn't bear having it hanging over me any longer. <clears throat> uh, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. I can focus on this for a while. Much more important. Do you think this will make a difference? But jolly well has to, don't you think? Considering what's at stake, we're all under threat. I would have thought as a man of science you'd know all about it. Clara mentioned you'd been studying radiation carried by the clouds. Seems Clara's told you all my secrets. Well, I didn't know it was an official secret. No, no, it's, it's not. It's not. That's... it's fine. The radiation is what's terrifying. One hydrogen bomb could kill one million people in an instant. But then the radiation spreads and could kill millions more. Slowly this time. The British government is building more bombs when they should be doing the opposite. Disarming. Setting an example to the world. Wouldn't that let our guard down? Isn't, isn't that what the Soviets want? We're not naive, you know. We want the three sides to stop entrenching themselves. All this posturing of theirs can only end one way. It's got to be unilateral nuclear disarmament. Otherwise, every day we are one step closer to the end. Oh, I agree, although with any luck they'll thrash it out. And what if they don't? Right, uh, I've got a lecture to give. Peter, would you mind if I had a lift for the last mile? Of course not. It was good to meet you, Peter. Good to meet you too. You're coming on the march, aren't you, Clara? I wouldn't miss it for anything. And you, Peter? Wouldn't miss it. And in the meantime, I'm sure Clara will take very good care of you. She will? That's enough, Molly Shanahan. We'll be off now. You go and get your bus, Clara. Ding, ding! <laughs> Impressive, isn't she? No more than you are.
You know what I'm gonna say? I've got a pretty good idea. You need to get out more. I will, I promise. Good to hear, old chap, but we've heard it before. I have to say, I've never really understood it. Here you are writing about clouds, and yet you never see the sky. What do you know? I've got a lot of writing to be getting on with, Joe, so if you let's, could... Well, let's see some of these words then, shall we? Come on. Man or a mouse? It's not like his top secret, is it? You can trust me. What do you think, Sam? I'm sure some of it is very good. Here. It will be good. First rate. Don't worry, old chap. Well, we'll hit that wall sometimes. It's all part of writing a paper. Now, come on, don't be so modest, Sam. You dashed yours off in a few months. Well, maybe I was fortunate, but the point is... The point is, you set your sights straight and true, sat down and wrote the damn thing. It wasn't quite like that. Well, you did it, and now here you are, senior lecturer. Which makes two of us. <sighs> did Joseph not mention he got a promotion too? It does tend to slip his mind for a few seconds occasionally. Well, you know what could be open to him if he gets this right and gets promotion? His own department, eventually. Professorship! You can't reach those heights if you stay in this hovel for the rest of your life. Well, that's true, but I wouldn't My point quite was put it. that saying to Peter it's all part of the process is just kind words. What we need to do is help our poor friend here be a man and write. All right. All right, maybe I could use a little help here and there, but I don't need any pity. Oh, it's not pity. We believe in you. We just don't want to come back and have the same conversation. Just don't start again. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it, Sam? I think he's right, Peter. I know it's tempting to want to forget everything and start again on a blank page, but then you're risking making the same mistakes all over again. You know, sometimes it's better to see where you've gone wrong, that's all. Let it help you. Good things might come of it. Good things like a promotion, I might add. Like Joseph says, don't start again. All right, then. What do you suggest, Sam? I know what you need. Some peace, perhaps? It's been far too peaceful around here for a while. What you need is some inspiration. Those three new girls. You know the ones. Undergraduates. They'll be at the Fox and Hounds this evening, and so, my good man, shall we? Eight o'clock. See you there? All right, all right, I'll come. I do hope so. And this isn't you palming us off again, I hope. Although I was almost hoping you'd say no, so there'd be two of those girls for me. Come on, let's leave him to it. Good luck with it. We'll see you later. Don't be shy, Peter. Come along. Man or a mouse? There you are. Seven o'clock, I thought you said. 